Hey everyone, today we're going to take a really quick look at how you can update Docker containers using Portainer. So I want to make clear that this is not the only way of doing it. So like most things, there are various different ways that you can update containers, but this is what I find to be the easiest. Now before you get started with this process, you have to ensure that your container is created properly. So what I mean by that is that the important data is properly mapped to a volume. So basically a volume keeps all of your data persistent. So through upgrades, through changes, it's not going to actually change anything because that data is mapped to a specific folder on whatever device you're using to run Docker. Um, so make sure that your container is set up properly. The important data is properly configured using a volume, and then you can move on to updating your Docker containers. So real quick, before we get started, I just want to mention that I have full written instructions for everything we're doing today in the description of the video. So I'll be using Nginx Proxy Manager for this tutorial because the version number is easily displayed on the login page. Um, but keep in mind that you're going to be using whatever container you want to update. So open up Portainer, log in, and then on the left hand side, you're going to select containers. So the first thing that you have to do is for the container that you'd like to update, you have to stop it. So select the container and stop it. After that, select the container and you should have a few additional options at the top. So we're going to select the recreate button. And when you click that, it's going to bring up a second box that's going to have an option to pull the latest image. So make sure that you check that off and then you can select recreate. So what this is doing is it's going out and it's downloading the latest image for whatever container you selected. At that time then it's going through and it's basically recreating that container using the configuration that you already had set up. So that's why it's so important to ensure that your volumes are properly configured. Because if they're not, whatever important data you have on here might be overwritten by the new image that you just downloaded. So when that process finishes, you're going to be able to go in and start that container. And at that time, you'll be able to launch the container however you normally access it, and it will be updated to the latest version. So this is a really quick tutorial. I understand that it's basic for a lot of people, but I get a lot of questions on this. So I figured it was best to create a tutorial on it. Um, so like I said earlier, make sure that the container is set up properly before you go ahead and update it. You don't want to update the container to ultimately find out that you know the volumes weren't mapped properly and now all of your data is gone. So if you fear that might happen, double check the container, make sure everything's good, and it would probably be a good idea to ensure that you have a proper backup plan in place for your Docker server. So that wraps up the video for today. Like I said earlier, this is not the only way of doing it. This is just what I consider to be one of the easiest ways of doing it. So feel free to leave any questions you guys might have in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks, guys.